Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and today we're using the Cadillac and the belly belt to talk to the sacrum, to talk to that hug of the sacrum. So we're gonna be going into a swan and we're looking at holding the sacrum down so that we can get that, that better communication between the ilium and the sacrum and to actually have the pelvis work with the spinal extension when we go into something like high swan. So I love this, it feels so good. And I had to, <laughs> I had to get my husband to help me into this and tighten the belt. So that's what you'll have to do for your clients um, when you're using this technique. So the, the belt is as tight as it can be and it's really cueing my pelvis and my sacrum into this sort of downward um, counter nutation um, and it's going to increase that as I come up. So you could start of course with the legs together or about hip distance apart and start with my hands a little bit in front of my shoulders and I'm going to start to do just a little pelvic rock while I'm looking down to the carriage. So my feet and my legs stay down and straight, and I'm just thinking tail up to the ceiling, tail down to the floor. And as I do this, I'm really trying to keep the knuckles of my big toes anchored into the floor. And then I'm gonna drop my heavy dinosaur tail of my sacrum down between my legs, and I'm gonna push into the mat. And as I slowly start to straighten my arms, what I'm thinking about, instead of shoving my spine forward, is I'm thinking of lifting the front of my spine, dropping the back of my spine, dropping my tail between my legs, and this just feels, on my spine and pelvis, so delicious. And then bending my elbows, cueing my lower belly, dragging my elbows back towards my hips, and I'm not doing a great job of keeping the knuckles of my big toes down, but I, I wanna keep trying to do that and slowly come down. So I'm trying not to allow my legs to splay out to the side. All right, let's see that again, <laughs> because it feels so good. So I'm anchoring, I'm gonna do tail up to the ceiling, tail down to the floor without a big grip in my behind. So I'm not trying to squeeze my glutes, I'm just, dropping my tail and my glutes are just naturally going to do what they're going to do. And then I'm thinking about pushing my hands into the carriage. And instead of thinking about a big shove forward, I want lift through the front of the spine, a draping and a pouring down in the back of my spine. Big breath here. And then resisting to come down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.